Yeah. Okay, so recently I've gotten some new things and all right, two of them or three of them, whatever, are kind of like whatever. One of the things is something I've wanted for a, a long time. It released fall winter of this time last year. I wanted it ever since. It's very expensive. It's hard to get a good price, but I finally found it for a good deal. But I'll show you the other stuff first. Basically, I wanted some new pants, so I was on eBay looking for kind of like some more vintage pants. I was looking at like Polo Sport, Nautica, whatever. For some kind of like basically just some pants with some more color in them and i wasn't really finding anything and about a month ago or two months ago there was like a little wave it's still kind of going on it was like the capo pants wave you probably saw them they had the logo down the side uh i thought that was like i thought those pants are cool but they've just been done so much i never really i never really bought a pair but i decided to look up capo just to see what kind of listings there were and i actually ended up finding some really but I would say cool pants that aren't really like hype or whatever. They're not really in the way, but they still look good and they were really cheap. First pair is this like a navy pair. Uh, it's basically all navy and it has two lighter blue stripes on the side. It's got white stitching. They look really cool. These were like $10 or something really cheap. Uh, and it has like the logos on the top. It doesn't have that much branding. I mean, I would kind of prefer they didn't have these logos. These fit really comfortably. They have a cuff on the bottom. They also have a zipper on the bottom, which I also am not a huge fan of, but it's whatever. I guess it's easier to put them on. They look really good with the rafts, I think, and uh, it's kind of an interesting color. I don't have any navy pants, so I'm happy I got those. And the next pair was from the same seller, so I kind of like grouped them together. And this is a pair I like a lot more than those. I've been wearing these a lot more as well. Uh, they're also made of like a nylon, but it's more of like, it's not really like shiny. It doesn't like make a noise when you crinkle it. These just have these two light gray stripes all the way down the side to the bottom. Uh, and these have even less logo than those, just like a, the little logo and then it says cap on one side. What I like about these more than those is that they have an open bottom. So basically, they fit perfectly on me. They fall right on my shoes where I'd want them to fall. Um, I think it's a really good look. I want more pants like this for sure, but I've been wearing these quite a bit. These also have zippers, which I wish they didn't, but it's kind of like a whatever. Uh, they're not super noticeable, but yeah, these are both super inexpensive. There's a ton of listings of this kind of pant from all these like older brands out there. Definitely check it out. Next, my friend sent me a link to this starter crew neck. It's just all navy with like a red embroidery on it. The thing I like about these older crew necks is they're really stiff, like they have a nice thick material. I usually really like the necks on them, this one included. Uh, so just a nice little whatever. But the thing I'm most excited about is this Gosha Rubchinsky Fall Winter 15 navy flag logo hoodie. Someone who followed me actually sold this to me and he kind of hooked it up. I think we did like a fair kind of like trade money thing, but I'll put his ad on the screen. Shout out to him. Like honestly, really means a lot, but it's all navy. I've had, I had the crew neck of this. It's basically the same fit, so I kind of knew what to expect. That's this really stiff, nice, terry material. It's got this interesting kind of neck thing where it comes up in the front. A wider drop shoulder fit, but it's also like very short. The design was obviously like inspired by the Tommy Hilfiger logo, but it has like the Chinese flag and the Russian flag. And then it says Gosha Rubchinsky in Russia on the top and bottom. This is probably one of Gosha's most famous pieces. This on Grailed sits for like 500, 550, whatever. Um, so I don't know if it's worth that much, but that's how much they sell for. I actually thought I bought this hoodie like, a, like this summer and someone who followed me also sold it to me, but I posted a video in it and everyone was commenting how it was fake, how the logo was too shiny. I worked it out with them and ended up returning it, but uh, that kind of made me sad. I thought I finally got it, but I actually didn't. Uh, but now I do have it. It's legit. It's got the matte logo, whatever, but I'm happy I got it. It was really fun like trying to track it down for a good price and finally getting it. I'm happy I finally got it. Yeah, so finally got that. Thank you for watching. If you want to like the video, I appreciate it. I know like it's weird. like. I've been asking for likes recently on the videos, which is like something I don't take too much pride in it, but it's kind of like it does help. So like, I guess if you want to, I appreciate it. It's not that hard. I know I like videos, but follow me on Instagram or Twitter, whatever you want to do. I love you all. Thanks for watching. Peace out. You guys take care. Yeah. Oh, might you be stuck in my mind?